Welcome back. Yes, right there in the middle, it's moderate. Well, Lily, we've had a little bit of a break. Did you crack it? I did. I had some success. And um, the, the secret lies in the fact that 459 is 16 away from 475. So the... why, why didn't I pick that? I mean, it's the <laughs> obvious secret. So it, it doesn't make sense now, but once I put it up, hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. Um, now, 50 minus 2 by 8... And to tell you the truth, I haven't even worked out the subtotal. Um, and if you add 75 to that, it gives you 459. I'll just explain that you get the 400 by multiplying the 50 and the 8, um, adding on the 75, and then subtracting the 2 by 8, which is 16, which is what I mentioned before. And there you are, 459. Well worked out, Lily. Thank you very much. And our scores now... Ian is on 29 and Alana is on 43. These are our final games tonight and uh, let's start with the last letters. Alana. Thank you. A consonant, please, Lily. Thanks, Alana. C. Okay. And another one? D. And another? S. And another one? R. A vowel? A. And another vowel? E. And another vowel? I. And I'll end with two consonants, thanks. And Lily. lastly, T and S. Here we go. Last letters for this game, Alana. How many? Six, thank you. And uh, what about you, Ian? Six also, Richard. Let's begin there. Traced. And yours, Alana? Crates. No problems, David? Good sixes. Um, now, I was uh, hoping here for a, a nine. They are such beautiful letters. Uh, and I was playing that uh, extension game as the vowels arrived, from cards to cedars to sidecar. I looked for a nine, but in the end it was a disaster. That is disaster for eight. <laughs> Funny when disaster can be a really nice big eight-letter <laughs> right. word. A good disaster. A good result, and good results for Alana and Ian. Six points each. Well, at this point, it's still possible for anyone to win, so let's see what the last numbers will do. Ian, work your magic. Lily, if I could have five small and one large, please. Thanks, Ian. That's one large and five small. And the final numbers for the week. Three, eight, nine, six, seven, and the large number is 50. The target to reach is 396. Thanks, Lily. 30 seconds to get there. Pen was down for quite some time. How did you go? Well, I think I got 396. 396 it? on the target. Alana? 394. 394, just two away. OK. Ian, show us what you did. So, eight times 50, Lily. Eight times 50 is 400. 400. And then minus uh, seven minus three. Seven minus three is four. Minus that is 396. Well done. <laughs> so, good work, Ian. Absolutely on the target. Good method, Lily? It was a good method. I used it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the best recommendation. So, that means a big ten points for Ian and the scores are now very close. Ian's on 45, Alana, 49. Only four points between them. Ten points up for grabs in this final round. Yes, once again, the conundrum will be the decider. So, let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Alana, what do you think? 
Advantage? Sorry, that's not correct. I'm going to restart the clock. But the buzzer hasn't sounded again, so let's have a look at tonight's conundrum solution. And it is navigated. And that means with the scores unchanged after this final round, our winner tonight on 49 is our carryover champion, Alana. Excellent. Good game. Well, you brought us to a nail-biting finish, though, uh, Ian. Very well played. Thank you, Richard. Fantastic and really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And, of course, the Macquarie Dictionary for you to uh, take home. Very good. And, Alana, that was a, a nail-biting finish. How was the adrenaline level? Oh, very high, <laughs> Richard. But Ian was a great opponent, so I had a lot of fun again. Well, you came through, uh, and we look forward to seeing you next week on the Carryover Champions Chair. Thank you, Richard. And we did have some nice words come up tonight, Some though. lovely words. And, in fact, I think it's delightful that, uh, with Ian on board, who is a real estate agent, that we found the word opulent, which means uh, majestic, because I have a, uh, a relative who is a real estate agent and when he's composing those placards in front of the house, he'll phone me out of the blue and say, hey, what's another word for opulent? And uh, I'll suggest uh, luxuriant. Or palatial. Or palatial uh, or regal. And you go, that's great. <laughs> then he'll just hang up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're professionally valued, David. Well, that's, maybe that's true. <laughs> Relax over the weekend. Thank you. Actually, are you professionally valued by your friends, Lily? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I, I, you know, at restaurants, I always get asked to... Um, figure out how much each person owes. But the worst is the other day I was um, in an elevator and there was a sign saying maximum weight of such and such. And I had to, well, my friends asked me to calculate the average weight of each person. And... <laughs> <laughs> it must have been a very long elevator yeah. trip. I think relax over the weekend. <laughs> Thank you. That is all for another week of Letters and Numbers. Join us on Monday at the same time. Or, of course, in the meantime, you can go to sbs.com.au forward slash letters and numbers to play against our previous champions. Until then, a very good night. Yeah.